We all love dogs. Of course we do. They're man's best friend. But some of them aren't allowed to be our friends. Why not? Well, because mean governments say so. These are the most illegal dog breeds in the world. Number 20. Dogo Argentino. As the name suggests, the Dogo Argentino is a dog breed that was developed in Argentina, South America. They were originally bred to hunt and kill pumas, which are the biggest predator in the region. These dogs were quite literally designed to kill off all the mighty puma that were eating away at the livestock belonging to the Argentinian farmers. Pumas, when threatened, will always stand on their hind legs to appear larger. This is their attack position. If you see a puma do this, one word, run. But the Dogo Argentino was designed and trained to attack the neck first. In other words, the Dogo will jump and lock his powerful jaws on the puma's neck. It goes for the jugular, and it will literally not let go until the puma passes out due to blood loss. So, you can see, this is a very powerful, fearless, loyal, and devoted dog breed. Not to mention, hands down, badass and dangerous, if not trained properly. This is why this dog is illegal in most countries. They are perfect guard dogs, although not really suitable for novice dog owners. This is for the simple fact that if someone owning a Dogo Argentino doesn't know how to control the dog, tragic accidents can and will happen. They have incredibly accurate instincts, which means they will not hesitate to attack immediately if they feel that someone has malignant intent. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the odd topic. The Presa Mayo is a mix of an English Bull Terrier and the Presa Canario. This breed is actually just a theory at this point, with expert breeders trying to create them. But many people suspect that once these dogs do exist, they'll be illegal in lots of places. The reason why breeder Chad Mayo is trying to create these things is because, hypothetically, they would be extremely strong and powerful. And as an extra bonus, they would be aesthetically adorable. Should Mr. Mayo succeed, this would be one of the most powerful dogs out there. This is why this dog might be illegal in most countries once it exists. As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Pitbulls. Pitbulls are illegal in the United Kingdom. Why? Well, because they are one of the most dangerous dog breeds out there. In 1991, the English government decided to ban pit bulls as a response to numerous extremely violent incidents involving pit bull attacks. These attacks were, for lack of a stronger word, absolutely vicious. Between the years of 1981 and 1991, there were 15 fatal pit bull attacks in England and Wales. Some of those victims were innocent and vulnerable children. The world had to sit back and watch how perfectly healthy, happy, and well-kept pit bulls were simply going insane and killing people for no apparent reason. They seemed to just snap and go into full attack mode out of absolutely nowhere. The first thing you need to know is that pit bulls were originally designed and bred as fighting dogs. So if today they are dangerous and aggressive, it's because we made them this way intentionally. But it's important to note that not all pit bulls are bloodthirsty killers. Although, if you ever see one, would you take the chance? These dogs are pure muscle, and their jaws make for one of the strongest bites in the world. Almost every single attack made by dogs is made by a pit bull. It is definitely not a dog breed to mess around with. Number 18. Fila Brasileiro these dogs are also known as Brazilian Mastiffs. The Fila is a very large and powerful dog known worldwide for its amazing tracking ability. But what we consider today as a very handy quality actually has an incredibly dark past. Back in the 18th century, during the Brazilian colonial times, slavery was legal and widespread in the South American continent, and especially in Brazil. I think you can guess where I'm going with this. Without further ado, yeah. The Fila Brasileiro was used to return fugitive slaves to their masters. In other words, they were used to hunt down people, not game. If that isn't scary enough, the Fila Brasileiro is an extremely aggressive breed. 
It's also unforgiving and has an impetuous temperament. Today, they are used mainly as guard dogs, as cattle dogs for livestock, and as hunting dogs for tracking and controlling large game. But the Fila Brasileiro rarely kills its prey. Rather than attacking, it usually traps it and awaits for the hunter, reminiscent of the times when they were trained to not kill the fugitive slaves, but rather deliver them to the masters. In the past, the Fila Brasileiro was also used to hunt down jaguars, so this dog can certainly hold its own. I would not want to mess with one of these dogs. Number 17. Alaskan Malamute this is one of the largest breeds of Arctic dogs that were originally developed as sled dogs to haul extremely heavy freight. The Alaskan Malamute was bred with two things in mind, strength and endurance. That's all. They get their name from the Malimiat Inupiaq people of Alaska's Norton Sound region. These dogs are extremely loyal and affectionate, but they are also insanely strong. They can literally withstand a blizzard like it's nothing. They would even enjoy it. The Alaskan Malamute is a heavy-duty worker. It is tireless and highly intelligent. People don't realize just how much physical activity these dogs require. They were quite literally designed to work non-stop until dropping dead. They can also be very relentless and nervous, which makes them quite unpredictable. Oh, and keep in mind, these dogs are extremely strong and are capable of hauling loads that we can only dream of. So if angered, they can certainly hold their own against pretty much anything. Some cities across the United States ban or restrict ownership of the breed because they have a strong prey drive. This means that their instinct is to hunt down anything they feel endangered by, and this can result in fatalities. Number 16. Rottweiler the actual full name of this breed is Rottweiler Metzgerhund, which literally means Rottweil Butcher's Dog. And if that name doesn't scare you already, just keep watching this video, you'll see. Rottweilers were mainly used to herd livestock and to pull carts loaded with butchered meat to the marketplace. They were the butcher's right-hand employee. Today, Rottweilers are used as search and rescue dogs, guard dogs, and even police dogs. And for good reason, they are cunningly intelligent and one of the most powerful dog breeds in the world. They are a very robust breed and they have insane strength, but they are also extremely loyal and protective of their own family. In other words, do not mess with someone that has a Rottweiler. They are extremely muscular and they can inflict great damage if necessary. Because of all these reasons, they are actually banned from lots of states across the United States. To name a few, Alabama, North and South Carolina, Washington, New York, and many more. They can be quite calm and responsible if they are raised and trained correctly, but that's not always the case. Their bad reputation started when people began mass breeding them, and people that have no idea how to train a dog of this caliber were now owners of many Rottweilers. Number 15. American Staffordshire Terrier this is definitely the most controversial pooch in the world. Over 11 countries around the planet heavily regulate this breed by law, meaning they are either completely illegal or you need a bunch of permits and other stuff to own one. But at the same time, every now and then, the American Staffordshire Terrier makes it on the list of the most popular dogs around the world. Go figure. It isn't a particularly large breed. Amstaffs are usually 17 to 19 inches from paw to shoulder and weigh between 40 and 70 pounds. And they aren't particularly bad-tempered either, so much so that the American Kennel Club describes them as confident, smart, and good-natured. In fact, they are considered the perfect family pet. They can be kept inside as another member of the family, or they can be taken absolutely everywhere and they will behave accordingly. They are truly the best companions ever. It's a very family-oriented pet. They'll enjoy doing outdoorsy activities such as going into nature or sports. But then, how come they're illegal in so many countries? Well, because from time to time, they can be extremely vicious and violent. But it all depends on how they were raised, like with any dog breed, really. The thing about Amstaffs, though, is that they are insanely strong. So if a bad thought crosses their minds, the situation can end in tragedy. Number 14. Kuvaz. 
Don't be fooled by the elegant and innocent appearance of this dog. The Kuvas are extremely fearful and territorial, which is a very dangerous combination when you're such a large and strong dog. So much so that they are strongly not recommended to keep as a pet in families with children or other smaller animals. They are very quiet dogs, and because of that, they prefer laid-back environments. But at the same time, they are extremely energetic and strong-willed, which makes them an absolute hell for owners that are not strong and the take charge kind. If you're a novice dog owner, this is definitely not the breed for you. The origins of the Kuvas are traced back to Mesopotamia and the steppes of the Ural Mountains in Western Asia. In 2000 BC, the Magyar tribes brought the Ku Asa, which means dog of the horse, to Hungary when they conquered the region. They originally served as livestock guards, and they have kept the necessary aggressive and fearless attitude in modern times. They are illegal or banned in many U.S. states and in many European countries. Reaching up to 115 pounds, the Kuvaz is a large and fierce protector, but can be extremely dangerous if not raised properly with a firm hand. In other words, whatever you do, do not piss off a person that owns a Kuvaz. Number 13. Chow Chow did you know that Chow Chows are considered to be the cleanest dog breed? And they are also one of the oldest breeds. Their existence can be traced back to ancient China. But we're not here to discuss a dog's proficiency in cleanliness, but the fact that they can be highly skilled killers. They were originally used as war dogs, fighting alongside warriors and soldiers. So yeah, you could say that Chow Chows are one badass breed. Their impressive and sumptuous coat allows them to withstand extreme weather conditions, a quality very sought after for war dogs. They can be very aloof and independent, but they are also very dignified. In other words, they have the personality of a cat rather than that of a dog. They are not welcoming to strangers, which makes them an excellent guard dog, and most people today keep them as such. But that also means that they can be very aggressive towards other dogs, so early socialization with both people and other dogs is crucial for the development of their social skills. Don't be fooled by their teddy bear appearance. These are warrior dogs that can inflict grave injuries if threatened, or if a member of their family is in danger. Number 12. Doberman Pinscher Ah yes, the infamous Doberman Pinscher. We all know about them and how they inspire a sense of terror in people, but did you know where they got their name from? Dobermans were actually originally developed around the year 1890 by a German tax collector called, you guessed it, Doberman. Carl Friedrich Doberman, to be exact. He wanted a fierce dog that would accompany him during his rounds for protection. And I mean, can you blame him? Who's ever been kind to a tax collector? Dobermans are both sleek and powerful, a perfect mixture of intelligence and agility. These dogs are extremely vigilant and protective, and they are the eighth fastest dogs in the world. They can run at speeds of 32 miles per hour. They are one of the best guard dog breeds in the world for many reasons. One of them is because of their extremely developed sense of hearing. They can hear sounds from 250 yards away. Dobermans were even used during the Second World War as guard dogs. Even if they're not the biggest breed of domestic dog, they sure are badass. Don't be fooled by their elegant appearance. This dog can be extremely dangerous if you're posing a threat to it. If you ever encounter a Doberman and it shows signs of discomfort, do not approach it. And for all these reasons, they are banned or restricted in many cities in the U.S., amongst others. Georgia, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, and many more. Number 11. Perro de Presa Canario the Perro de Presa Canario is an incredibly large breed of Mastiff developed in the autonomous region of the Canary Islands, which are a group of Spanish islands off the west coast of North Africa. They were originally used as herding dogs and as guard dogs, but unfortunately also as a dog fighting breed. Ever since 1936, dog fighting became illegal in Spain, although officials say it's still going on clandestinely. <coughs> The Presa Canario is insanely strong. Its head is massive, broad, square, and mega powerful. One bite from one of these pooches and you will be marked for life, guaranteed. 
When a Presa Canario stands on its hind legs, it can be well taller than an adult person. In other words, you should never ever piss off a Presa Canario, or its owner for that matter. This dog can quite literally bite your head off. It was literally designed to fight bigger dogs than itself. There have been incidents where a Presa Canario caused the death of a human being. Just recently, in 2017, a woman was killed by three of these dogs. But despite being so powerful, the Presa Canario moves quite cat-like. And that's because it has absolute control over its movements. If you're not an experienced handler, you should categorically not own one. It is not a dog to mess with. Number 10. Tosa Inu the Tosa Inu is, by all means, a not very well-known dog breed. And that's surprising, because this dog is an absolute beast. It's a Japanese Mastiff, and it was originally bred in the country of Japan as a fighting dog in the second half of the 19th century. Today, it is the only dog breed legally bred in Japan for dog fighting. That should tell you all you need to know about the fearless Tosa Inu. In many countries, though, owning a Tosa Inu is very restricted or, hands down, banned because they are considered an extremely dangerous breed, and for good reason. Their size can vary quite a bit. Those bred in Japan are, ironically, smaller, about 135 pounds, while those bred outside of Japan can weigh in at 200 pounds of pure muscle and anger. This dog was bred with two things in mind, extra large size and maximum strength. So yeah, stay clear of them if you're unlucky enough to cross paths with them. Considering most of these dogs are still used as fighting dogs, they can be extremely aggressive, even towards people. They are groomed and trained from a very young age to answer to their bloodthirsty instincts. These pooches are no joke at all. Number 9. Neapolitan Mastiff this magnificent Mastiff is, as its name suggests, originally from the Neapolitan region in Italy. They have a tendency of being quite friendly in temperament, but once they reach their fully grown size, they actually become somewhat giants, which can be extremely dangerous for smaller animals and even for children. On the other hand, if a Neapolitan Mastiff does not receive proper care and training from a young age, they can become psychologically ill and be very threatening even to their own masters. And let's be honest, nobody Nobody realistically wants to be at the dark end of the whims of one of these pooches. If they get angry at you for whatever reason, your only option is to run as fast as you can, although they'll probably still get you. This is why Neapolitan Mastiffs are officially banned in many places around the world, like in Singapore and a few states in the US. In other countries, a psychological evaluation has to be conducted and passed by the dog in order for someone to be able to adopt it. And uh, let's say not all of them pass, quite the contrary. As adults, they weigh 50 to 70 kilograms and measure 60 to 70 centimeters from paw to shoulder. Yeah, these doggies are massively huge. Number 8. Cane Corso The Cane Corso belongs to the Mastiff family. They are considered as one of the most trainable and responsive breeds of Mastiff. Contrary to their appearance, they are very affectionate with their families, and they are very good with children. But if they see you as a threat, that's a very different story. They can be very suspicious when encountering strangers, so if you ever see a Cane Corso, make sure to be very careful and only make slow gestures. The Cane Corso is definitely one of the most intimidating and big dogs out there. They are incredibly hardworking and smart. They require constant stimulus and training, so if you don't have the patience or a lot of free time, this is not the dog for you. A lot of people find this dog absolutely terrifying. I mean, they were used as dogs of war by the Roman Empire. This dog isn't quite the lap dog, no. They are the definition of badass in the canine world. They are an absolute beast of pure muscle and power. The Cane Corso is a descendant of the feared and huge Roman Molossus dog, and they fought side by side with the Roman warriors. They are excellent protectors and guardian dogs. 
Their appearance can be extremely intimidating. At a weight of 110 pounds, you'd have to be crazy to mess with a cane corso. They are banned or restricted in most big cities in America. Number 7. German Shepherd there are many countries that either ban or restrict German Shepherds, like the United States, Ireland, Iceland, Ukraine, the United Arab Emirates, and many others around the globe. There's a reason why German Shepherds are the go-to breed for police work. They are hardworking and responsible, but can also run at great speeds and can turn on the defensive mode extremely fast. There have been cases of German Shepherds being aggressive. That's why it's so important to train them well and constantly. If you ever encounter an aggressive German Shepherd, do not approach it. German Shepherds stand at the top of canine royalty for a reason. They are highly intelligent, loyal, confident, and courageous. They will not skip a beat to put their own life in danger to defend the one they love. That's why they are the pinnacle of guard dogs all over the world. They can also be quite aloof with strangers, but they are super affectionate with their family members. They are excellent with children, making them perfect family pets. But if they're well trained, they will not hesitate to harm intruders as well. They can learn a great deal of different kinds of commands, and they love to be doing important tasks. Number 6. Rhodesian Ridgeback this dog breed is either banned or restricted in the states of Michigan and Wisconsin. They are a member of the Hound family, and their appearance is quite imposing and dignifying. They were originally developed as hunting dogs in South Africa, and they have all the best qualities for the job. They have a striking appearance, strength, and mental agility. They are very easily recognized by a unique dark line that goes down their back, hence their name, Ridgeback. They were created by crossing several different breeds, which can be a huge quality or a major downfall. Depends on how you look at it. It makes them quite unique in their personality and very healthy all around, but quite unpredictable and restless at times. They are one of the fastest dogs in the world. They need constant outdoor exercise because otherwise they'll probably develop undesirable behavior that can result in aggressiveness. Despite having a very fierce hunting instinct, the Rhodesian Ridgeback can be quite friendly if trained and cared for properly. If you're not a very active person, you should not adopt one of these pooches. These dogs are extremely loyal and devoted to their families, so if you cross paths with one that you don't know, be very much aware. They may very well become aggressive and attack you. Number 5. Tibetan Mastiff Mastiffs tend to be a very dominating breed, and Tibetan Mastiffs are no exception, which means they are very hard to train and will not willingly obey commands or orders from their owner. As you can very well guess, that is not good news, especially if the dog not obeying is as huge as this one. They are very heavy and have a lush and long coat. They are exceptionally large dogs. Because of their personality, they instantly assume they are the head of the household, and to establish a place of leadership over them, it requires a lot of patience and hard work, and in some cases, a very firm hand. They can build very deep bonds with members of their family, and they take their job as a guard and protective dog extremely seriously. They will gladly put themselves in danger to protect their own. They are very independent and don't need to be pet constantly. The Tibetan Mastiff is a very powerful and imposing dog, and it should not be messed with as it will defend itself without a second thought. Tibetan Mastiffs are banned or restricted in Malaysia, the Maldives, the Bermuda Islands, parts of the United States, Australia, and France. Number 4. Boxer most people don't know this, but boxers can be quite vicious killers sometimes. Actually, more than just sometimes. From September 1982 to December 2014, boxers were responsible for 62 attacks that caused bodily harm and, in some cases, death. Amongst those victims, 19 were children and 22 were adults. Yeah, I'm sure you all look at boxers the same way after knowing this information. They originated as a hunting breed in Germany, and they have ever since been in the working family of dogs. They've served as military dogs, guard dogs, attack dogs, and messenger carriers. They're very good at their jobs because they're cunningly intelligent and also insanely powerful. Without proper training and socialization, they can be extremely dangerous, so much so that they are listed as 
one of the most dangerous dog breeds in the United States. In El Paso, Texas, a young kid and his grandmother were viciously attacked by two boxers that entered clandestinely into their backyard. The child had to be hospitalized due to serious injuries. The dog owner received several citations because even if the dogs never showed any signs of aggression before the attack, they weren't properly restrained, making the owner responsible for the incident. Number 3. Wolf-Dog Hybrid They are exactly what their name suggests, a creature that's half dog and half wolf. As you can very well imagine, they pose a huge and unique set of challenges to their owners. First of all, there's their immense size, strength, unpredictability, and irritability. But most importantly, let's not forget, wolves are wild predators, and these animals are half exactly that. They have the instinct and pack mentality that prevails from their wild past. As a result, they are almost impossible to manage. They are routinely blacklisted by insurance companies all over the world and banned or restricted in most large cities throughout the United States. Every dog breed comes from the wolf, but they've been subjected to centuries of breeding and emancipation. Not the wolf-dog hybrid, though. They are half pure killer instinct. But not all of them are aggressive. Some wolf-dog hybrids are quite docile. The issue is, a much higher percentage of wolf-dog hybrids are likely to be dangerous and prone to attack humans and other animals rather than not. Wild wolves almost never attack humans, but wolf-dog hybrids, because they're around people every day, actually kill an estimated one dozen people each decade. And that's too large a number for comfort. Number 2. Akita the Akita breed is courageous, fearless, and magnificent. It was originally developed in Japan. Their breed goes back to the 1600s, and they belong to Japanese royalty. They were used for hunting fowl and protecting their owners from dangerous animals like bears. So yeah, Akitas are pretty strong, despite their cuddly appearance. The most dangerous side to them is their unpredictability and the fact that they are extremely headstrong and bold. They build very deep connections with their families, though, which makes the Akita an excellent guard dog. But it's also very bad news for outsiders and intruders. They have a very dominant personality, and they tend to be quite aggressive with other dogs, and even with people. That's the reason they face bans in many cities across the United States. They are considered one of the most intelligent breeds in the world as well, but they're surprisingly not easy to train due to their rebellious nature. These dogs might look pretty, but they're very dangerous if they're not trained correctly. In other words, never piss off someone that owns an Akita. The dog will feel the bad blood between the two of you and will not hesitate to attack you. Number 1. Torn Jack this breed is also known as the Bosnian Herzegovinian Croatian Shepherd Dog, and it was originally developed as a livestock guardian dog. Much like any other dog in the Shepherd family, the Torn Jack is very courageous in the face of danger. It will fiercely protect its flock, family, and home against intruders or any threatening person or animal. These dogs will act with swift and appropriate aggression when warranted, so much so that they are heavily restricted and sometimes banned in the country of death. Denmark. Torn Jacks are a majestic dog breed that's considered extremely intelligent. Just like any shepherd breed, they need constant challenges to keep them busy so they don't develop unwanted behavioral changes. Adult Torn Jacks have a tendency towards calmness. They are soft and peaceful in temperament, but when the situation calls for it, they become very vigilant, making them an excellent watchdog. They're not usually nervous or aggressive, which means they're actually quite laid back and not too demanding. This dog could be described as a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type of personality. Incredibly docile most of the time, but if the situation shifts, they will become a completely different dog. As you can see, most dangerous dogs are so due to their upbringing and improper training. You could even say that the dog itself isn't dangerous, but rather its owner. What about you? Have you ever been attacked by a dog before? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.